Hello, good morning, welcome back to another vlog. So it is currently Thursday, which is podcast day. So I posted a new episode of my podcast this morning. If you're not already following it, it's called Girls Who Get It Podcast. I will have a link in the description. Definitely go check it out. I do it with my best friend, Julia, who is coming to visit me tomorrow for the weekend. I'm so excited. And then I watched the new Kardashians episode and now I am ready to get cleaning. I just wanna do like a nice deep clean of my apartment. I do this every week anyway, but especially because she's coming, I just wanna make sure that it's nice and clean before she gets here. So the kitchen counter is a little messy and cluttered. I have some dishes in the sink that I need to put in the dishwasher. And in the dishwasher, I have some clean dishes I need to put away. I have garbage over here I have to throw out. The living room is not too terrible, but I do need to vacuum the floors and I wanna shampoo all of the carpet because I haven't done that in quite a while. My bedroom is also not too bad, but I have some stuff up on the dresser that I need to put away and I want to wash my sheets and I have some laundry back there that I need to do. And then we need to clean the bathroom. Not horrible in here, but you know, it's just, it's just time. The floors need to be cleaned. The tub needs to be cleaned. So we are going to put on a podcast. I'm gonna put on Crime Weekly, one of my favorites. They have two new episodes that I haven't listened to yet and they're two hours each, so that should be perfect. On the evening of June 17th, 2013.
it feels so good to have it be nice and clean in here oh my god it looks amazing i still am working on the laundry so I'm gonna wash all those sheets and this stuff i'm leaving up here because i'm still figuring out if i want to keep these shoes or not so um but yeah oh feels so good everything is so nice and clean and it smells so good in here i'm just waiting for the carpet to finish drying it's already almost dry leaving that door open and i have the ceiling fan on so hopefully it'll air out and dry pretty quickly and then i'll put the coffee table back it's about 2 30 now so i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day getting through the rest of that laundry and just relaxing a little bit i'm gonna take a shower at some point but right now i'm going to make myself something to eat we're gonna do eggs i have some tomatoes i need to use up because they're gonna go bad pretty soon and some potatoes i'm just gonna do like an egg scramble kind of thing and i think i have some yeah i have some cheddar cheese so i'll throw that in there too i'm still hanging out with the guys from the streets from my hometown i'm humble i'm not too big for them It's a few days later. It's currently Monday. I've been sitting here editing everything that you just watched so far. I was fully planning on vlogging the entire weekend. Like I said, my friend Julia came to visit, but it was just like kind of a shit show of a weekend. So Friday night, her flight ended up getting delayed and she didn't land until like 1.30 in the morning. And the airport she flew into is about an hour and a half away from me. So we didn't get back here till after 3 a.m. And at that point we were super hungry. She had been stuck at the airport waiting to depart for like almost five hours. So we ended up going to Waffle House and we were literally there at 4 a.m. And then by the time we got to my apartment, it was five in the morning. And then Saturday, it was just very go, go, go because she came in Friday night and then left Sunday evening. So she really only had like one full day here. So we really wanted to make the most of Saturday and do as much as we could. So despite getting here at five in the morning and not actually going to sleep till close to six, we were up and ready to go by 9 a.m. So we were running on like three hours of shitty sleep. I just kind of tried to show her around town a little bit. We went to the beach and the Fort Fisher area, which is one of my favorite places ever. I love it. Then we grabbed lunch and went to Cosmoprof because she's been talking for months now about wanting to make her hair ginger. And she asked me if I would do it while she was here. And I was like, yeah let's let's do it so i did her hair and i did record the process so i'm gonna insert that here i know this vlog's a little bit random but i'm gonna insert the process of me doing her hair enjoy i haven't recorded myself doing hair and done a voiceover like this in so long oh my god i missed it i feel so good but here is what julia's hair looked like starting out she's naturally a pretty dark brunette and she did have some old color on the ends i think it i mean she had obviously pre-lightened it at some point i don't even remember what exactly she's done to it but um luckily she did go to cosmetology school that's how we met so everything she's ever done to her hair has always been done properly and like with professional good quality products so i knew her hair would be fine to handle lightning so i used wella blonde or lightning powder which is my favorite i mixed it with 20 volume developer and i literally just went through and i foiled her entire head just did slices um i didn't go all the way up to the root because i knew that her roots would lift very easily and very quickly because it's fresh regrowth and it's right by the scalp um the reason i did this because when you are trying to go a gingery 
color or red color, usually you can just do color with a high volume developer if you're doing it on virgin hair. But I didn't know, like I said, exactly what was in her hair and I didn't really know how it was going to take and if it would come out even and if it would lift enough if I just did color. So I thought the safest thing to do would just be to lighten her all over, get all that color out, try to get her to like a more even starting point first. So that's what I did. And then I just kind of went section by section and started pulling the foils out just so nothing was over processing. I didn't want to get her hair super, super blonde because that wasn't necessary. And also the lighter I got her hair and the more warmth I removed, the less her hair would be able to hold the red color we put on it. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't over lifting. She ultimately wanted to be a level eight, so I just tried to lift her right to a level eight. So yeah, here I am just pulling those foils out. And you can see she actually lifted pretty nicely considering how dark she was starting out. And uh, here's Benny, literally mood. That's how tired I was feeling at this point. So this is the formula that we used for her red. Everything was from Wella Coleston Perfect, which is a permanent color. I look like SpongeBob. <laughs> you like do. That's how yellow. You are SpongeBob yellow right now. Yep. So for the formula, we did equal parts of the 841 with the 643, and then like a third of the 77. And I mixed that with 20 volume because I didn't lift or I didn't pre-lift, I should say, her roots. So I wanted to make sure that I could get a little lift with the color on her root area because she did want it to be one solid color. She didn't want to keep her dark roots. So I went through and I applied it to the roots first so that they would sit on the longest. And then I pulled it through the ends. And I also was thinking that the 20 volume would help to even everything out since some parts of her hair didn't get quite as light as other parts. And it was honestly a miracle because we really did not think we were going to end up having enough color. And at this point in the night, the store was already closed. So we ended up having just enough. Like I was literally scraping the bowl by the end of this. Um, but we made it work and I don't know if you can tell, but we did end up dampening her ends a tiny bit just to help the color glide a little bit more so that we could stretch it as much as possible. And I used a comb to comb it through so that we got full even saturation. And this was the final result. It came out so beautiful and really perfectly even. So yeah, it actually came out really good. It's always tricky whenever you're formulating like reds and gingers, especially like a more natural red. Um, it can be tricky like getting the perfect formula and I feel like it sometimes is like a little bit trial and error and it takes a while before you can find like that perfect formula that's like exactly the shade that you were going for. I'm not even going to take credit for it. She picked the colors out herself and she formulated and mixed it. She's also a cosmetologist and used to do hair, so she knows what she's doing. And I was very happy with how even it came out, despite the fact that she had like some old color on her ends and, you know, wasn't starting with an even base. But yeah, it was really pretty. And she was a little bit nervous because she, like I said, had been wanting this color for months and months, but she didn't know how it would look on her, especially because she has such dark features. But I think it looked really good. She's debating whether or not she wants to color her eyebrows and lighten them up a little bit too. But I actually like the way it looks with the dark brows. So comment down below to let her know. Should she lighten her brows or should she keep the dark brows with that hair color? But yeah, by the time we finished doing her hair, because it was such a long process and she has a lot of hair, um, it was pretty late. So we just ended up door dashing some food. I don't even think I got any clips of that because we were starving. So we just, we got some sushi, scarfed it down really fast while the red color was processing. And then we just ended up passing out afterwards. And then Sunday, we went to brunch and then we went to the aquarium and then i drove her to the airport and literally as we were pulling up to the airport she got a text that her flight was delayed again so we had three hours 
until her flight and we were already at the airport at that point and we went to the myrtle beach airport um so we were like fuck it we're here you know we're like right down the street from the boardwalk so we went to myrtle beach we ended up getting dinner and sat outside right by the ocean it was so nice and then I went and dropped her off at the airport. Like I said, I really wanted to vlog it, but there was just so much going on and I was so exhausted the whole time because of Friday night. It was honestly just the last thing that I felt like doing was worrying about like filming and getting good shots and all that. Um, Cause we had such limited time too to do everything. Next time she comes down, she definitely needs to stay longer, but we still had a good time and she is coming to my birthday celebration which is coming up in a few weeks. So I'm gonna see her again really soon. So now I'm just trying to do some editing. I need to straighten up a little bit. Luckily, we were barely in my apartment at all, all weekend, so it stayed very clean. I just kinda need to put some stuff away. I still have the air mattress out here. I need to fold that up and put it away. And then I have some of the color that we use to do her hair still out i want to do some laundry and then she is going to be calling me in about an hour and we're going to record a new episode for our podcast we were planning on recording an episode together while she was here but based on how the weekend went we just did not end up having time but anyway let's straighten up before we have to record this podcast By the way, how amazing is the shirt? Julia got it for me. She went to see John Mayer live in concert and he is like one of my favorite artists on the whole planet. I am obsessed. It's like the softest, comfiest shirt ever. And the back, let me show you. I got a big shirt. John Mayer tour, baby. I've been wearing it like all weekend. <laughs> Ginger hair. Just look at it. Glowing. I gotta, I gotta vlog it. Beautiful. Oh my god. Who is she? I'm in my bathroom recording because the fucking dirt bike guys no. are out right now. And I was, I literally like just put everything down in my room, and then I, I heard it coming from a distance, and I was like, no. I did it. We just finished recording. It is 8.48. That was a really fun episode to record, but now my throat feels so dry from talking so much and I am just so hungry. So I am making myself some dinner. I got some water boiling. I'm gonna make pasta and, oh, the oven is heated up. Let's put our shrimp in. Making shrimp alfredo because i'm actually leaving to go visit my family in my hometown and i'm gonna be there for a few weeks i'm gonna be celebrating my 30th birthday up there and just so excited to see my family and all my friends so yeah my fridge is very very empty right now but there's no sense in me grocery shopping because i'm gonna be gone and anything i buy is just gonna go bad so i'm trying to just kind of use up what i have so i had some frozen shrimp i have some pasta i have some fresh parmesan cheese i have butter i have milk but i'm gonna wrap up this vlog here um and i'm gonna start a new one tomorrow so stay tuned for that and then i will be vlogging a little bit of my trip i definitely want to vlog my party so more content to come thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you really soon in my next video bye